Hi and welcome to this Excel video tutorial on how to convert numbers into words in Excel. Before we start, this is very important to note. Even all the current versions of Excel do not have an inbuilt function that can spell numbers or convert digits into English words. So for this particular tutorial, we shall use a VBA macro from the official Microsoft Office website, which you can download for free. But I've put a link in the description of this video to help you get the file faster with that said let us start our configuration right now so the first thing you need to do is to copy the code from the microsoft office website open a notepad paste that code into your notepad and save a copy on your computer after doing that then you open an excel workbook where you want to actually configure the function so i'll go ahead and open a blank new workbook so when it opens the first thing i will do is to save this workbook and i will save it as uh, a macro enabled workbook let me save it over the desktop i'll call it my test spell amount in words then i will save it as a macro enabled workbook hit save and there you go after you've done that then you head over to the developer tab and then click on visual desk over here when the vba editor opens you click on insert click on module then you can paste your vba macro over here so i'll open my file on the desktop copy my code and then paste that code over here then click on the save button close the vba editor and you're right back into your excel workbook let us generate random numbers over here i'll say equals round between ten thousand to fifty thousand so it's now time to test our function that you have just configured in this workbook over here so i'll come over here and say equals spell number open brackets select the cell that contains the digits close brackets hit enter key on the keyboard then your figures will be converted and this one is uh $32,875 and no cents. So by default, this VBA macro works with the dollars as a default currency. And if your BOQs or invoices are commonly generated in dollars, then you're done. That's what you have to do. But in case you wanted to convert this code into your local currency, then you need to do this. Then I go back into my Visual Basic. And when I'm inside the code, I need to do some replacements. I need to find in the code where there is a word dollars and replace it with my local current symbol so i'll press ctrl h on my keyboard for find and replace we are finding the word dollars replace it with our local currents for mine it is uganda shillings and that is the symbol then i click on replace all and there you go 11 replacements were made click ok then i also need to search for whatever there is the dollar replace it with my local current symbol click replace all and there you go two replacements were made so let us first close this visual basic dialog box now that we have done some replacements let us retry our formula i will say equals spell number open brackets select the cell that contains the number close brackets hit enter key on the keyboard this one now reads 32875 uganda shillings and no cents because in my country cents were abandoned since 2013 so i will need to get rid of this last part over here that says and no cents so that it can only read 32875 uganda shillings so how do you do that i'll head over to the developer tab go back to my visual basic editor and in the code i need to look for those specific words that says and no cents so that i can get rid of those lines right over here remove the line come to my second line get rid of this line as well as this one click save button close the visual basic editor come over and update my formula and there you go this one now works very fine as you can see it only reads 32,875 uganda shillings so i can drag this formula to the rest of the sales so that's all you had to do if you wanted to modify the code into your local currency if you have learned something out of this video please consider leaving a comment a like and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel